Hello, my name is William Luck. For Hong Kong, increasing temperatures and rising sea levels mean more than inconveniences or just higher electricity bills for air conditioning. With temperatures projected to increase by more than 6 degrees Celsius over the century and mean sea level predicted to increase by more than 1 meter, both according to the Hong Kong Observatory, climate change means heavy casualties, disease, and infrastructural damage. A report published by Climate Central just a week ago projects that even a 4 degrees Celsius increase in temperature would put 46% of Hong Kong's developed area underwater. 46%. It means that there is a real need for the government to take action and support Hong Kong communities to adapt and respond to climate change. Firstly, we need to stop the monopoly of electricity production. In Hong Kong, electricity generation accounts for almost 70% of our greenhouse gas emissions because 54% of electricity is generated from coal, 22% from natural gas, and only 1% from renewable energy. This is one of the main reasons why we currently emit 5.7 metric tons of CO2 per capita, 16% higher than the world average. Yet the government has never required any emission cuts from the two power companies. To combat this, we need to introduce competition, especially competitors who use natural gas or even import nuclear power from mainland China. But our power producers are just part of the problem. Half of our pollution comes out of nearby factories in mainland China. While the Hong Kong and regional governments have set joint emission standards, they were subsequently lowered because the targets were not met. The government needs to realize that the walk is more important than the talk. We can also leverage our position as an international financial center to promote green financing. Green bonds is an uplifting example of how finance and environmental protection can go hand in hand as the funds raised from green bonds are used solely for environmental projects. Through providing associated tax breaks for green finance, the government can incentivize the financial community to invest in projects with environmental and or climate benefits. And only when the Hong Kong government can take on such a leading role can the rest of us, from business, civil society, the research community, and day-to-day -day citizens, also rise to the challenge.